luxury on wheels. That's this episode of Autofocus Test Drive. The supersized Escalade is Cadillac's most iconic vehicle on the market. You see them in music videos, movies, and TV shows like The Sopranos and Drake's In My Feelings. Historically, the Cadillac Escalade was Cadillac's first major entry into the SUV market for the 1999 model year to challenge other premium brands in the SUV segment. Today, I'm discovering the Escalade is as regal as ever. And in this episode, I'll share with you the details and highlights that make it awesome. Let's go. Stepping into the Escalade is stepping into luxury. Just a reminder, I want to invite you to be sure to weigh in with your comments, subscribe and hit the bell for new show notifications. Now back to the show. We're hitting the streets in the 2021 Escalade. With a starting price of $85,895, it's Cadillac's biggest SUV and carries a 6.2 liter V8 engine that makes 420 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque. From a dead start, it hits zero to 60 in just 5.9 seconds. A 10-speed automatic transmission is standard with both engines with options either rear or all-wheel drive setups. There's also an optional turbo diesel 3-liter inline 6. Now the Escalade can deactivate half of its cylinder output when using the cruise control settings to save on fuel. Rear wheel drive versions deliver 15 miles per gallon in the city, 20 in the highway, 17 combined. All wheel drive delivers 17 miles per gallon combined. It has a towing capacity of 7,500 to 7,700 pounds. It combines that luxurious feel with an unapologetic sportiness and surprisingly agile street handling. An all new independent rear suspension platform results in a much smoother ride. Super Cruise, you heard of that? Yeah, well this is a setting that offers the ease and convenience of hands-free driving on compatible roads. Adaptive cruise control maintains a selective following gap between you and the car in front of you. Real-time cameras, sensors, and GPS, along with LiDAR precision map data, all work together to detect every curve and thus helps the vehicle stay centered during your drive. You're sitting high in the captain's chair with a greater level of visibility, responsiveness, and assuredness. It's quiet, peaceful, a retreat from the busy world outside. Look at that front, it's all grill, I love it. Black gloss trim around the grill, mid bumper bordering the bottom. The big Cadillac logo with that grill mesh inside. Headlights sweeping back and around and a little thin black border on the lower right and left of the grill. Again, Bumper separating it nice and strong, a mid black strip running side to side with lower spoiler underneath moving to the edges. That lower spoiler kind of swoops down like a wing on an F1 car. Pretty cool. Then there's the vertical light running on the outside of the vehicle. Very innovating and striking to the eyes. Let's go to the side profile. You can appreciate just how long this baby is, but check out the front third where it's kind of snubbed out and blocked down at the front. The front passenger doors and the back doors kind of flow back to the middle with darkened windows flowing all the way back to the rear, now to the back. An extended cargo area is capped by the roof spoiler at the top and vertical tail lights. There's a wide space for the cargo, lower bumper and the exhaust underneath. Up top there's roof rails for additional cargo. Now both of those dynamic screens overlay on the left and it sits on a dash shelf. The extended screen for audio, navigation and other functions extend all the way out to the middle of the dash. Again, supported by a glossy wood inspired shelf. Underneath are more controls which are a push button with leather on either side and the push button start right there. There's a nice black glossy horizontal separator with air vents in between. The details are beautiful from one side to the other and it flows so appropriately. The dash shelf extends back toward the lower windshield with speakers at three locations. The steering wheel is sporty and leather wrapped with your controls on either side of the middle. A chrome design anchors the lower bottom and the Cadillac badging is right smack in the middle. 
That screen gives you the ability to control your information. Down below, a knob provides you with the same control. That includes changing the settings, going back home, and then there's audio, nav, vehicle information, and as you can see, it gives you tire pressure and oil, all that information about your vehicle. Hit the button there and voila, navigation map comes up. You'll notice that there's a map on both the extended screen and the screen behind the steering wheel, but you can change that however you please and customize it. Really, it's just gorgeous all the way around from top to bottom, but let's move down towards the lower middle where you've got that beautiful color coordinated area with the stick on the left and your storage area right there, glossy, wood inspired. Your control buttons, as mentioned earlier, behind the stick. I like the way it feels when you grip that stick and move it from parking to drive to reverse where you can see the high definition camera showing what's behind you. Bring it to drive and we begin to move forward and that camera gives you a front view just for a moment as you move this SUV forward. I want to show you guys the length of the sunroof. It goes from right above the passenger driver area here, right there, not far from the windshield, all the way past the second row seating. And that means everyone in the compartment gets the sunroof and gets all that. You can also open the windows as well and get some fresh air in right here, as you can see. The sound is flowing beautifully from the headrest where speakers are mounted and there's sound bathing the entire interior with magnificent vibes to all three rows from the third row looking forward to 12 inch screens mounted on the back of the headrest of the driver and passenger seats. From the second row you get climate controls of your own, a storage space and more USB charger ports for your phone. Push this right here and the tray opens where you can store your drinks. It closes nicely and there are headrests that allow me to listen to more music. Yeah, I'm jamming to my favorite grooves, but without them, there's still more speakers on the doors. A little storage space right there as well. The third row seats are luxurious with nice leather, air vents, places to store your cups and charge your phone. The cargo area was quite extensive as well. Not only for a place for storing things, but a place for me to just Chill out. Now, let's get back on the road. You may notice with every test drive I present to you, I try to share my feelings and emotions and the vibe I get from every vehicle we test. In this case, Cadillac says that confidence is an expression of power. And it's a quote that we should take to heart. Confidence, that's exactly what you get. And that's what I got the entire time test driving the Cadillac Escalade Sport. There's so much more to share but I'll just stop here and take your questions, comments, and feedback right there. All right, guys, that's it for this episode of Autofocus World, the test drive. Tony Lesane, see you next time.